One of the issues that some guys have with Fords is with the idler air control, also known as the IAC or the IAC. It's a little module that's right back here on the back side of the throttle body on this particular Ranger. Well, it's easy to take off. You just unplug it right there, and there's two little bolts. When you're taking this apart, be extra careful not to lose this gasket because we're going to use this. Now, conventional wisdom or some things that you might read tell you that this piece is not meant to be serviced. They'll say just go ahead and put a new one on there. Well that costs money. It's not an overwhelmingly expensive part but if you can clean this out and still use it and save a couple bucks in the meantime why not do that right? Now this is an automatic or this is a stick shift rather so it's not that big of a deal. You know if this isn't working because the vehicle won't idle. You turn it up the ignition process is going and all of a sudden you put the key back into the key on position and boom Without your foot on the gas, it just will not hold an idle. That's when you know this isn't working. Again, with the stick shift, it's not the end of the world. You can just pedal a little bit and you get down the road. If you have an automatic, I used to have a 2000 Ford Excursion. That was an automatic. That was a much bigger deal because I really couldn't use it if this wasn't working. Either way, you pop this off and you clean it off. There's a couple different schools of thought when it comes to cleaning this. Some guys will say, don't touch the spring in there. You can see the little spring in the plunger and that moves back and forth. They'll say, whatever you do, don't touch that. Look. The part's not working, so how much harm are you going to do, right? So I got in there with a little carbon buildup. Sometimes it'll hold things up, and it'll kind of hold it in one spot, and that's why it's not working. So you want to get that cleaned out. But you can kind of move things loose a little bit, loosen it up with that. You don't want to break anything, so don't be too hard on it. Then you get in here with a little throttle body cleaner, and you spray it right into these two holes. That's where the issue is. You've got some carbon buildup in there. So you get in there, and you clean that out, and you kind of shake it around and it's cleaning and scrubbing and scrubbing and you want to get rid of that carbon. So we dump that out. You might have to do that a couple times. But that'll get in there and that'll clean it pretty easy. So some guys will tell you, well, let it sit and dry overnight. Sometimes you don't have that much time. So you just dry it off as best you can, shake it out. And another school of thought is to put a little lube in there and lube up that spring so it'll move nicely. Some guys don't want to do that because they don't want to get that in their ignition, but the thing is, it's flammable. That'll just burn right out. It's not going to be a problem. So now, you can see how fast this is. We got it cleaned up, got it lubed. You could, if you have time, let it sit and dry overnight, or you can just pop it back on in this condition, and it's worked. I've been doing this for years with no problem at all. So this is good and clean. All I've got to do is put the gasket back on, bolt this baby in, plug it in, and I will not have any more idling problems.